Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today it is Tuesday, I... what time is it? 11 o'clock, it is 11 a.m. I've been doing computer work all morning. Yeah, that's literally all I've done. I went on a run this morning, it was beautiful. I left the house at like 6.15 and the sun's been rising a little bit later now, which is my favorite because I got to watch the sunrise as I ran and it, oh, I can't even describe it. It was just so peaceful and like just stunning. I love watching the sunrise and I've been watching it every morning lately on my walks or my runs and I'm obsessed. But I decided that I'm going to do some cooking. I finished my work for the day and I want to get some cooking done before I have to go into my retail job. I've never cooked this before. It's a recipe I found on Pinterest. I'll show you what I'm doing. So I have some broccoli steaming here. I also have some chicken. Is that, what is it called? Po like I'm poaching it. I cut up a bunch of mushrooms, onion. We have some vegetable stock, flour, um, minced garlic, Dijon mustard. I'm watching some Emma McDonald and I am just going to be making this, what's it called? Healthier broccoli chicken casserole. So Hopefully, it'll kind of look like this. I'm really excited. I just cooked my pasta. This is like veggie spirals. I love these. And I'm just really excited. So we'll have to figure out what the next step is and what I need to be doing. So I've combined my chicken, broccoli, and pasta. I've just kind of piled it up so you can't really see everything. But I've also just finished making the sauce and it looks so creamy and good. I've never made anything like this before. So we'll see if it turns out well. So I'm just gonna combine it, toss it all together, and then put it in the oven to bake for a little while. This is what it looks like all combined. I feel like it looks so good, but so bad. <laughs> like so gross, but so good at the same time. You can see the chicken and the pasta and the broccoli and the mushrooms. I'm so excited. Put it in the oven now, bake it for 15 minutes, and then I'll put more cheese on top, I think, and then bake it a little bit more. I just pulled it out of the oven and this is what it looks like. I am genuinely very excited about this. We'll see how it tastes once it cools down a little bit. guys it is 11 a.m. on Wednesday and I feel like I say this every Wednesday but Wednesday is my day off from my retail job so I'm just at home doing work from home so a lot of YouTube work today I think I'm gonna film a video in a little bit and I'm also doing a bunch of church admin stuff today as well so I am gonna keep working at my desk finishing off some of this stuff that I'm doing I also need to put my camera on charge so that I can film this video and I may update you a little bit later. I feel like there's nothing really going on, but this is my life right now. filming a faith q a video i have no idea when it's going up yet but this was the setup move this chair in here from my bedroom move this plant in here move this in here this had like the questions on it which just made it easier for me to see them and then this rack usually goes in that corner but i just moved it out of the way so hopefully that's a cute little background i would like to film in my room with this chair but the lighting doesn't really work in the layout so there's that now to put it all away i'm now at my computer doing some editing and just some other random computer work but i wanted to give you guys a bit of a wedding update because there are some updates which is exciting i feel like nothing has really happened in terms of organizing or at least nothing was happening for the longest time because believe it or not it's really hard to plan a wedding during a pandemic but it's definitely a first world problem i completely acknowledge that but that doesn't make it easier so liam and i have officially chosen a venue and booked it in and i am so excited we are both obsessed with it we actually just randomly came across the venue on instagram one day like we were just like looking at wedding videos to kind of just get some inspiration from things actually i think we we're looking at photographers we found this photo and we're like wow where is that it's so beautiful and we clicked on it and we found it and we fell in love 
12th so we have booked it in and I'm so 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 excited I'm not gonna share with you guys where the venue is or which date we have booked in I would rather keep those things private for privacy reasons but I just wanted to give you guys that bit of an update so we do have things in place it's just like a big weight lifted off my shoulders because for the longest time we just had nothing and a lot of the things that you want to plan kind of have to be planned around the venue or the date like we couldn't order invitations and I didn't know what kind of dress and vibe we were going for until we had the venue my Fitbit is telling me to move just things like that so it's really exciting now that we have that and we can start planning things and it has inspired me to start looking at other things that we can start putting in place as well and one of those things is bridesmaids dresses I have looked high and low for bridesmaids dresses that I like and I have not been able to find any that I love. I do have an idea of what kind of style I like. There are two styles that I kind of like and I kind of have an idea of colour but I am open to other things. But if you guys have any suggestions for where I can find some bridesmaids dresses, please let me know because I am struggling. I feel like every time I find a style that I like, they don't have a colour that I like. And every time I find the colour that I like, the style is not what I want. I also feel like a lot of the styles are so similar, which is kind of frustrating me because I feel like every wedding I've been to has the same style of bridesmaids dresses and I don't want that. So I feel like the style that I like is still quite minimal and simple and basic but I just don't want it to look the same as every other person's wedding but let me know if you guys have any suggestions and I'll keep you guys updated good morning guys it is Thursday it's like 9 a.m. I've worked out got ready for the day done my morning routine I was about to say I'm looking for George to see what she's <laughs> doing so weird. <laughs> what looks so weird well, it was what I'm doing right now. Oh. I literally just edited a part of my vlog where I like rearranged our whole office to make a cute backdrop. So as if I would think that's weird. <laughs> I was just you at the spot and I sat down and I was like, oh, I'll just rest for a couple of minutes. Really? But this is me resting. Is it good lighting there? I don't remember. I don't think it looks good. I don't think I can sit nicely in a beanbag. Are you okay? I'm just tired. <laughs> I sleep. I know how to fix this. Ah. Are you serious? Of course. <laughs> I just didn't think I'll pay <laughs> Guys, I want to show you how long the vines of Georgia's poppers are. So, hang in there. I wonder if I'll be able to get it all in the clip. It's too big for the clip. Is it actually? No, I don't know. Guys, <laughs> it's like a washing line. We could hang it up on the wall. That's crazy. I love it. I love a good poppers. We're going upstairs. No. Yes, you just said you have things to do, so we're going to go and do those things. You can't make your vlog my vlog. Well. You can't just vlog my day. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> Have you seen those people who are like getting their um, best friends to and like mums and stuff to vlog their own days and they post it on their channel? No. Like Brooke Michio um, posted be like, my mum's, you know, day in isolation. And then Gretchen did one with her boyfriend. Like he filmed oh his day gosh, in the life. That's so funny. Or like I know Danielle Carolyn did like a bunch of her college friends and they all filmed like little snippets oh. of their day and they put it all together. How fun. Too good. Except if we did that, it would just be normal because we both vlog. <laughs> Yeah, literally. Okay, let's go upstairs. No. Yes. No. Yes. Rachel, we've had this conversation. I don't deal well with people telling me what to do. Please come. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're going to oh. do this alone. What are you doing? None of your business. So this is George's room right now. Hey. <laughs> Bit messy, if you ask me. Let's get on that. Does she have... Oh, we've got some empty. Perfect. She wants to sell this stuff on Depop, but for now it's just sitting on her floor. So let's fold this up and put it away in these baskets, put it up in her wardrobe, and then she has some spare space, or at least no, nothing on her floor. that I'm gonna put up my Polaroid photos. I talked to you guys about it in a previous vlog about where I wanted to put them and I showed you that I ended up putting these photos on the back of my actual bedroom door but I think I'm gonna put my Polaroid photos on the back of my wardrobe door. So hopefully this will be quite a satisfying time lapse. We'll see how we go.
and gentlemen, we have finished the Polaroid wall as much as I can do at the moment. I've put all my Polaroids up there, so it's not finished, like the door isn't completely covered, but I'll just have to wait till I take some more photos to put up there. But I love how it looks, and I thought I would show you a few of, well, not my favorites, but just like a few memories that are on there that I was looking at when I was putting them up, and I was just like, oh my gosh, wow, like, remember that? It definitely made me miss my friends a lot, because obviously a lot of these are with my friends, but some of you guys will have been with me the whole time. Some of these are as old as 2015, but a lot of you guys probably only came in the last couple of years or less, maybe in the last couple of months, I don't even know. So you only really will have seen a tiny portion of what this Polaroid wall is. This was a camping trip that me and some of my friends went on in grade 12. It was like probably I think it would have been my first like holiday with my friends we just camped on this random campsite Fifi went four wheel driving that's my car and it was just so 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 much fun this is my senior art class on the last day of our class we all like signed this big poster board with our handprints and stuff and this was our last day of classes graduation which is so crazy this is Ruben and myself the school captains and then formal I love this photo. I think it's just so fun. This was such a dreamy day. Like, I, I really, really loved formal. Here's a photo of Liam and I on our formal. We weren't, like, dates. Like, he wasn't my date, but we did get a photo together, which is really cute. Here's a photo of my brother Daniel, like, a couple days before he moved to Sydney. We spent a day in Brisbane op shopping and taking film photos, and it was so fun. We have my birthday in 2018, which I think is probably my favourite birthday I've probably ever had. It was just so perfect. This is one of my favourite photos ever. This is the whole squad on Georgia's birthday or at least the day we celebrated her birthday and it's just I love it so much and then this is another one of my favorite favorite photos this is when we were living at the squad house it's a photo of all of us housemates and we were just so happy and best best friends so I love that as well another really happy squad house memory was Christmas 2018 so fun we have my 21st birthday it's crazy to think that was a year ago it feels like so long ago and I honestly haven't taken as many recently so i need to get back on that that was laneway 2020 but yeah i haven't taken too many since then just on my birthday so i need to fill up the last portion of the store and we can complete the polaroid wall i also have these ones that i put here separately this is one of my favorite traditions liam and i take a photo every year or a polaroid every year on my birthday so we have 2017 2018 2019 2020 and i hope that one day i can have a huge collection of these when we're married and we can have photos with our family eventually and I just think it's such a special tradition and I love it but I'm gonna go have lunch and get ready for work so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys very soon with another one good bye